Hi everyone, this is Saida and you're watching Precious Years. If you're new here, welcome. I am a homeschooling mom of two girls and in this channel I share our homeschooling journey and mommy lifestyle and hope you will stay and be part of our Precious Years family. So let's get to it. By viewer request, I'm doing a review of the math lessons for a living education by Master Books. This is a supplemental book for my kinder slash first grader who has come to a halt on our main curriculum, Matthew C. For us, this book is used as a supplement and we aim to do one page in addition to Matthew C. And or sometimes it has been standalone. This book does not come with any manipulatives and at that price point I didn't really expect it to but it does talk about manipulatives and using a very simple at home material such as beans um, and some uh, templates that they have provided to use. I like how it has the daily schedule listed out for you. If you use it as a standalone curriculum and it is separated into four quarters and an area to input your date and grading if you use grading in your homeschool and this would be great to uh, rip out at the end of the year and use it in your portfolio. My daughter and I really like the colorful and graphic pictures and the book starts off or the chapter starts off with a story. It caught my daughter's interest right away because she just adores animals. Once you finish reading the story with your child, um, in our case my daughter reads the story to me and I help her whenever she needs any help with the word. So it's kind of like a reading lesson for us as well. So on one of those hard school days um, when it difficult to check off all of our subjects um, this kind of counts as reading lesson for us <laughs> um, then you complete the exercises based on the story that you just read um, and the story the tasks or the exercises are based on um, like you're helping uh, the kids do the um, their work or whatever they learned in the story so that has been fun for my daughter uh, there is one uh, flaw in their uh, design. When you rip out the pages, which is designed to be ripped out, the holes are cut off, so the three hole punches are not done correctly. Uh, so if you want to use it in your binder, uh, that would uh, pose a problem. Um, and we just noticed that. Uh, not only are you practicing with numbers, but some drawing tasks as well and my daughter just loves that it moves on from identifying numbers and copy work to shapes and patterns um, my daughter also really liked how it also introduces animals and identifying their characteristics while incorporating the lesson and in between they throw in a lot of copy work we cannot wait to get to the butterfly life cycle because I know she'll love it. It then moves on to place value and gives instruction to parents on how to use three different cups in different sizes to demonstrate place value. And this is another example of how they show you how you can use at home um, tools as manipulatives. I love the story of how they taught the place value and love the comfortable setting of sitting on a grandpa's lap because reading a story at our home is similar because it is very intimate and very comfortable. It continues on with more worksheets on the place value concepts in different ways. Um, it includes continues to work, include copy work, um, fun worksheets like maze, and also uh, reviews the concepts that they have learned before. And I really love that because I really value mastery. Then it moves on to the concept of addition and equal sign in lesson 12. It also includes 
some coloring and it appears most of the Friday's worksheets are simple and it has a creative side to it which is great because Friday's in our house is very much relaxed as well. It also includes days of the week concept and copy work and moves on to using dominoes as manipulatives to work on the addition facts. It then moves on to skip counting and adding to tens, solving for unknown. And in between in the stories, it talks about helping out with chores, identifying vegetables, and the parts that are edible. I love how it shows the importance of farmers and the hard work that they put into harvesting. We love going to farmer's market and eating as organic as we can, so it was nice that it was included in the story. I appreciated that. It moves on to tally mark, telling time, and games. It also talks about a game to play with scavenger hunt of math facts and tally marks. So it reinforces the lessons that you've learned with games, which I really appreciate and value because games are a huge part of our learning at our homeschool. And uh, sometimes it takes you a lot of times and a lot of times on Pinterest to identify and find out the games. So I really like that it already included that in the book. It then moves on to simple fraction very quickly and then a gentle basic introduction to subtraction. It then continues on to uh, reinforcing the past lessons and practice in different fun ways. At the end of the book, it does include various printable that can be used as addition mats, hundreds chart, place value village, days of the week, and clock assembly. So if you couldn't tell from my excitement, all in all, I think this is a great math resource for us. My intention when I purchased this was to use as a supplement to get over a hump that we were in with my kinder slash first grader. Now going through this book again, I did not think I can really have her do much of math you see now. She just adores this book um, and that this is the only book that she wants to do for now. As I had thought, this book is very much Charlotte Mason inspired and I really appreciate that because from when my kids were younger, we always used daily activities from playing, cooking, baking, cleaning as a tool to learn math and other skills. Um, guiltily, I think I did that more with my oldest than my youngest because they are so close apart. Um, I always feel I didn't teach my youngest as much as I taught my oldest because in the early years it was hard sometimes to keep them both engaged doing a task. So I appreciate and will go love going through this book and doing more of the day-to-day -day activities with my little. Saying all this, um, most times in the early years homeschool kids are ahead so this may be a good for a kindergartner or early first grade i hope to get second book soon and i can do another review all for you all if you like it so please thumbs up or leave a comment so i know um, in our benefit i wanted something easy to get a, get her focus back into math and due to motor skill deficiencies copy word practice is a beneficial for us Additionally, the book mentions God throughout the book in different scenarios, so if you prefer a completely secular book, then this book might not be for you, but uh, you can always paraphrase or omit and wide it out. The book has so, so, so many pros that I think that if you prefer this style of book, then it might be a little compromised to just omit some of the things, but um, it is obviously uh, independent choice depending on your beliefs. I hope this review was helpful in making your decision. Feel free to leave me a comment with your thoughts and how you like it if you purchased it. I will leave the link in the description below of where you can purchase it. This video is not sponsored and I am not affiliated with them. Have a great day and happy homeschooling. Be sure to enter the giveaway that ends this Friday.